Thank you for joining us for this week's episode of Recipe Share, a program on AADL TV where we take a few minutes to talk about recipes in a featured category. Today's category is serving up sliders. I'm Beth, and I'm joined by Katie and Elizabeth to tell us about the recipes. So, Elizabeth, tell us about your recipe. All right. Well, just last week, I believe, um, we did mushrooms, um, or quite recently. Um, it, but I actually used mushrooms again to make portobello mushroom sliders. Um, and this was originally a vegan recipe from, this is kind of funny, a blog called At Elizabeth's Table. Not me, different Elizabeth. Um, but I did not make it vegan because I'm not vegan, but it was nice that it was for folks who might be. So this was really, really easy. I really liked this. So basically what you get, you get a thing of portobello mushrooms. Um, you need some soy sauce, tamari, or liquid aminos. I use soy sauce. That's what I had. Some red wine vinegar, some maple syrup or honey, some Dijon mustard, and then it called for a teaspoon of liquid smoke. I really do not like liquid smoke, so I skipped it. Some people do. If you want that flavor, you could go for it. Um, and then you need a medium yellow onion. And then um, you're going to whip together an aioli. So it called for plant-based mayonnaise. I used regular and some minced garlic. And then you get some slider buns. I used pretzel buns and a few handfuls of arugula or butter lettuce leaves. So this was so nice to do. I really like this recipe. Um, so you slice the portobello mushrooms which at first I was confused by because when I make portobello mushroom burgers, you keep them whole, but I was like, oh, of course they're sliders. They're going to be like smaller. Um, so you slice up the mushrooms um, and then you toss them in a bowl with a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce, splash of red wine vinegar, splash of maple syrup, teaspoon of Dijon, and then the liquid smoke, which I didn't use. Um, I also threw in a little bit of salt because this recipe didn't call for it, but then I was thinking maybe I shouldn't have because the soy sauce is salty. Anyway, whatever. Um, so then you slice the onion into rounds and you saute it um, until it's quite soft and getting a little browned. Um, they suggested doing this in vegetable broth, which I had never heard of before. Um, I didn't have that. I just used olive oil, um, but... Anyway, you know, you basically caramelize the onion or at least saute it down. Um, and then in you take that away from the, you take that out of the pan and add the mushrooms in, cook them until they're soft. Um, in the meantime, you've whisked together your mayonnaise and garlic if you'd like your aioli. And then basically you spread a smear of aioli on the bottom of a bun add a handful of arugula or butter lettuce, top with mushrooms and then onions. And then if you'd like an extra drizzle of aioli and then serve it and enjoy. I thought this would have been also nice with a provolone cheese on it, but the recipe was vegan. So it didn't call for that. And I didn't think of it, but next time I will probably add that in because I love cheese, but um, it was really good, really easy which was a refreshing for me after a couple kind of more complicated recipes. And I served this with sweet potato fries that I baked in the oven and it was a really tasty um, dinner. So um, highly recommend, really easy. And um, portobello mushroom sliders. I like the pretzel buns too, but other buns would be fine. Well, that sounds awesome. Like so tasty. And I was going to ask about the pretzel buns. I haven't seen those before. Where did you get them? I found them at Bush's. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and actually, you know what? I'm going to make this again this week. So I might use other buns um, just to see what that is like. Because huh. the pretzel buns are dense, you yeah. know, so they take, oh, I don't know. So I'm, 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 I'm going to try it with other buns as well. Um, but I found them at Bush's originally. Um, but yeah, I'm going to experiment with maybe a lighter bun this week. And are you going to put some cheese on there? Yes. I bet that's <laughs> going to be really good. That yeah. sounds great. So I want to ask you though, um, you slice the portobello. So could you 
use baby Bellas? Then? I think you could. Um, <clears throat> do you slice the portobellas into strips so they don't get as small as a I baby can... Bella would be? Like they're still, you know, Pretty sub substantial. Substantial. Meeting, you definitely yeah. could. Like there's no reason why you couldn't, but I don't okay. I think the texture would maybe be a little different, but you totally could. So, yeah. Okay. Sounds delicious. Yeah, that was good. Uh, Katie, tell us about your sliders. Okay. Um, I actually tried out a few different slider recipes on my football friends, and this was the winner. Um, this is for cheeseburger sliders. It's from a cookbook that I checked out from the library called Natasha's Kitchen by Natasha Krabchuk. I had to give it back, but I'll show you a screenshot of it. It was a really good book. Um, so this is a really nice and easy recipe. You preheat your oven and then grease a rimmed baking sheet, set that aside. And then you um, cook up your ground beef with some diced onion and some oil just until that's done. Remove it from the heat and get rid of any sort of excess fat that's in there. My, I didn't have a lot, so I didn't really have to do that. But if there is, you know, you can just spoon that off. Um, and then you stir in some mayo into the beef mixture. And then you take your pack of Hawaiian rolls. So just like your, you know, standard Hawaiian rolls and you slice them in half widthwise. So keeping the, them intact, but the bottoms and tops separated. You put the bottoms on your greased baking sheet. It's greased with butter. Okay, so put that on your baking sheet and then you um, put on top of the bottom row of bread or <laughs> layer of bread, you put um, cheddar cheese slices to cover and then you spread the beef mixture on top of the cheese slices. And then you put another layer of cheese slices on top of that. And then you put your top layer of bread over and you just, um, you just brush some uh, butter on top and sprinkle it with sesame seeds and you just bake it for 15 minutes until it's like nice and browned and um, the cheese is melted. I actually have a picture of before I put it into the oven and then after it comes out, um, it was really, this is a really, really cool recipe because it's so easy. You don't have to make all the patties for the cheeseburgers, right? You have that ground beef mixture, but at the same time, when you eat these, it doesn't, like it's not sloppy. Like you kind of thought that it was going to be like a sloppy Joe sort of situation because you you didn't make a patty, but because you've got the mayo in there and the cheese on either side of the meat, it just kind of holds it all together. And these were so tasty and fun to eat and so easy to make, and they just disappeared. Um, I got requests to please make this again, so. I definitely will. Um, it was wonderful for making on game day. Just, just the perfect little recipe. Loved it. So are they kind of like pull apart once they come out of the oven? Cause the whole Hawaiian rolls are like, they're kind of intact and then, but then you kind of pull them. Is I think I used it? a serrated knife at the end to, <laughs> um, to actually <clears throat> separate them. That's a good, good question. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That sounds great. Yeah. I love Hawaiian rolls too. Yeah. That sounds so good. And like, I, I love that you just cook up the beef like that and it's really different, but, uh, yet the same, you know, yeah. cheeseburger. That just a little cool twist on a on a classic recipe that Thank makes you. it like so much easier to make. So definitely appreciated that. All right, Beth, tell us about your sliders. All right, people. Um, I really liked what I ended up making. I made some buffalo chicken sliders. I found this recipe from um, the Food Network and it was Valerie Bertinelli's recipe. Um, and I think I had set aside a different recipe, but when I got down to actually cooking, I was like, yeah, this sounds good. So um, it's really easy. It's really, it called for, um, rotisserie chicken. So already made chicken. So that's something you can do, but I had, I roasted thighs, four cups of chicken that you shred. Meanwhile, you melt two tablespoons of unsalted butter, although you, you could probably do salted, um, 
the recipe called for 12 ounces of buffalo sauce. I, I use Frank's and the comments in the recipes were, um, or the comments list posted were that it was too much sauce. So I just kind of taste, did it to taste. I, I could have added more. Kurt, Kurt said that he would have liked more, but anyway, um, so you, you, have your melted butter, a little uh, onion powder, garlic powder, squeeze the lemon juice, uh, stir that up, set it aside, and then you take your chicken, you know, toss it in there, warm it up. Meanwhile, this was what was really cool, was it a celery blue cheese slaw, and it called for four stalks of celery. I used three. Um, it also called for cutting the in on the bias and I uh, just diced it because it was easier. So, and then um, like a half a cup of blue cheese crumbled, your celery, a little bit like tablespoon or two of vegetable oil. And that's your slaw. I think it, I think I put a little lemon juice since I already had some and you know me I like lemons, a little salt and pepper. Um, and then you take your, you cut your, your, buns like Katie did, um, cut it in half, you know, in half, um, plop some of the, uh, the meat mixture using tongs on each one and then spoon the, uh, the, the slaw. And then Valerie said to use skewers. I, we didn't, we just go, go ate them up. Uh, I have a picture of both the, the sliders and the slaw and you know, I have to, this was so easy and good and like great thing to do with leftover chicken. And it was really good. Just like the next day, it was even good. Just eating it over my sink. Um, so yeah, I, this was a keeper. Um, and I think you guys would like it too. It's just super, super simple. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, the slaw sounds really good. The celery slaw with the blue cheese. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I keep thinking, I keep going, you've got all the ingredients, but I don't have chicken, but I want to use it for something. And then I also, I, uh, played around with the concept and actually some comments were like people added, um, carrots to it, but I, I played around with a more of a Greek, uh, thing that we made and I used feta cheese and celery and but you so you could oh and cucumbers uh so yeah there's a lot you can do it's uh, uh whatever you got so yeah yum that was a fun one sounds good all right uh let's make sure i got yeah yeah i did that so um if you don't have anything else to say i will tell you this <laughs> thank you for watching recipe share be sure to click the link below to look at the event page on aadl.org to find the recipes we talked about and share your own in the comments. Join us next time when we'll be talking about cozy comforts. We look forward to seeing what you've been making. So thanks for sharing. Recipe share, recipe share, share a little recipe with recipe share.